Hello and welcome to an all new edition of Tech Report. As you can see, this edition is new because we have new graphics, a new set. In fact, this program is even being recorded on a new widescreen digital camcorder. Finally, iNet has gone digital. Yay! It's been a long time in the making, that's for sure. Yes. Anyways, it makes perfect sense that the first show that we produce with this new technology is, of course, Tech Report. Now let's get straight into this week's program. It seems nowadays that some people have no idea what an FTA or OTA system is. Yeah, really. Now I can't blame them, of course, because at first I didn't know either. I had to get Chris here to explain it to me. Now the purpose of this program is going to be to dispel some of the common myths and rumors surrounding over-the-air and free-to-air satellite television. Let's start with over-the-air TV. Over-the-air television has been a method of receiving television since the early 1950s. It is the classic antenna on the roof or rabbit ear style of receiving TV that you might have made fun of your grandmother for having. In 2009, all analog over-the-air television will be shut off in the United States, but that doesn't mean an end to free TV. That is absolutely incorrect. While all analog U.S. over-the-air broadcasts will be ceasing after February 2009, uh, they are quickly being replaced by a new digital technology. So don't worry, you'll still be able to receive free television signals with your old antenna. That is also unequivocally incorrect. While a new television set is required uh, if you want to enjoy the benefits of over-the-air high-definition TV, all you really need is to get a digital-to-analog converter box to enjoy the benefits of digital TV on your analog set. False. While some cable companies and retailers would like you to believe that over-the-air television is illegal, the fact is it's not. Mm -hmm. You see, over-the-air television is and always will be free and legal. For the most part, incorrect. While Canadians who live in U.S. border regions who receive their television over the air and in analog will notice the removal of their U.S. channels after February 17th, uh, the fact is that the Canadian switch-off date is not going to occur until August 31st in 2011. Luckily for us, that's still a couple of years from now. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at some of the myths of free-to-air satellite television. Free-to-air television is a type of satellite TV that allows viewers to receive signals legally and for free. Most of the time it requires a slightly larger dish than one that uh, Dish Network or Bell Express View would re require. However, you can still get away with a fairly small one meter dish for decent programming. That's actually a common misconception. While many people consider hacking television providers to be free-to-air satellite, the fact is it's not. Now, of course, Hack and Bell is illegal, and it's called satellite piracy. Free-to-air, on the other hand, is the legal reception of unencrypted satellite channels from the various satellites that orbit North America. And, of course, that's not considered hacking or illegal. While some FTA channels do require a large dish, up to 10 feet sometimes, uh, there are many networks such as PBS High Definition, Fox, ABC News, Al Jazeera, and Press TV uh, are available with a small 33-inch dish. Luckily, that's about the same size as Bell or Dish Network would require you to have. Now, while the hardcore FTA fans may want the newest equipment, the biggest dishes, and the best hookup cables, the fact is that regular people can hook up uh, their own FTA system for very little cost. Yeah, in fact, my first free to air satellite TV system only cost me about $350. That included the 90 centimeter dish, all the coax cable, the hookup cables, and the free to air receiver. And that also included professional installation. 
Many people seem to believe that the only way to get television in this world is to fork out big bucks to the cable or satellite providers, when they could easily get more than enough channels for free with an antenna or a dish. Now take a close look at your television viewing habits, and see if you can do without cable. Let's not give these companies the satisfaction of them extorting large amounts of money out of us. Mm -hmm. 